Welcome, welcome, welcome. Michelle Ledbetter here. And um, I'm here to empower people to move outside of fear, move outside of judgment, and live their greatest, most abundant life, no matter your age. Um, but especially for women over 50. I know for myself, I kind of got in a little funk there for a while and I thought that I had completed most of the things on my bucket list and I'm over 50 and you know I've got a great career and I've had an amazing life amazing life adventures and I wasn't sure if there was anything else that I could really do or contribute to because that's pretty much been my journey but let me tell you that shaving my head has brought a new spark a new power a new liberation and I want to encourage everyone to move beyond your fears, move beyond those things that are holding you back, and let's just do this thing. It rocks. So I shaved my head. It was uh, quite long, uh, about waist length, and I shaved it off about two days ago. It has been on my bucket list for about 10 years. I put it on there thinking, you know what? I'm never gonna get to this one knowing that I had a lot of insecurities around my hair, which most of us do. We're pretty attached to our hair. But let me, um, one of the, it's only been two days and I've just been having the best time with it. But one of the things that, well, not one of the things, one, the main question that I get is why? Why, Michelle, did you um, decide to cut off all your hair? So I want to give you some reasons, not because I feel justified to tell you why, but because it really is empowering and maybe once you hear some of these things you will jump on this bandwagon and you will start to embrace who you are and just be unapologetically you so here are some of the reasons that I did this um, first of all it was on that bucket list and what better time than now to do it the other thing is well I've got quite a few reasons so I'm just gonna go ahead and blab them off here okay um, there are more women and children that need my hair more than I do. I mean, I, although very attached to it, those people that lose their hair due to chemotherapy, children, women, men, um, not that that is even their biggest issue when they're going through such transitions in their life, but it is something that they have to endure. And um, I can now tell the patients that I work with that have lost their hair that although I don't exactly know what it feels like to walk in their shoes I know what it's like to be a bald person living in a world where judgment is so prevalent um, and being able to say this to the people that I work with that are struggling it just gives me a little bit more credibility and it makes me a better nurse um, it gives me a chance to move beyond my fears and insecurities and believe me there are a lot of those that popped up um, I'm finally going to be able to see what my true hair color is because I've been dyeing it for my whole adult life. I feel empowered when I stretch beyond my um, perceived limitations. It's just something magical that happens when I push past something that I think I can't do and I accomplish it. I can ride in the car with the windows rolled down and I don't have to worry about my hair getting all tangled and it is such a cool feeling to be riding with the wind down, the windows down and the wind blowing on your head and no hair flapping in your face. It's cool. Um, it does take focus off appearance and it helps me to look really within to find my authenticity. Although I've been working on that my whole adult life to learn, grow, and heal, um, this really takes, I don't know how to even explain that. It makes you feel a little raw and vulnerable. Um, some of the other reasons, let's see, I wrote them down here because, you know, there's so many, many reasons, and I'm, I'm kind of doing my cheat sheet here, but um, I actually now have one more experience in life that I didn't have before, and I always love a new experience. And even though I was pretty low maintenance with my long hair, I just put it up in a ponytail. I'm super low maintenance now. I don't have to pay for hair products. I jumped in that shower and was out of that shower and good to go within five minutes. Wow, the extra time and the money saved. That's another great one. 
<clears throat> it makes me feel very humble and even more grateful than I did two days ago. Um, there's just something about going through this process that really is uh, humbling. And, you know, maybe I can get one person to step outside of fear and create a life that they have longed for. You know, maybe by seeing somebody else doing this sort of thing that you would be willing to not necessarily shave your head but to identify those things that are blocking you from creating the life that you want to live and you know bottom line is now that I've done it it's liberating as hell <laughs> it's it's a really cool thing so I hope you'll join me I hope you will join me and I'm really interested in talking to women who have overcome obstacles and they are really living in a place where they feel like they are um, being 100% authentic with no reason to defend that. I would really like to line up with some people that are out there that would like to make a difference in the world. And you know, it starts at home, right? Um, my, one of my favorite quotes is, be the change that you wish to see in the world. And so the change starts with us, and I'm starting with me, and I hope that I will get some followers that will join me, and we can work together just to make the life that we have left more exciting and hopefully provide a better future for our children and grandchildren. So thank you for tuning into my channel. If you like it, please push like, so that I know I'm on the right track and I will continue to provide positive, motivating, um, inspiring stories and we can walk through the difficult times, we can create a sacred space where everybody feels that they can just speak their truth and love and respect to all. These are really hard and challenging times and what better time than to get up and spark up your life and do something different. This is really kind of over the top but wow! It's a really cool experience. I hope you'll join me. Don't forget to press like wherever that like thing is. I'm so new to this, but I'll get a hang of it. I will get the hang of it. All right, guys, you have an awesome day. Bye-bye now. Whoops, I'm not sure how to turn it off. Ashley, you want to help me?